I'm in for the box. You can do it. In for the nuts, man. It's simple. So there is a bully drop. Connect though. one is it with you on it. He wants a uh, shooting her him DLC. Not sure we've confirmed that's coming. Jeez, <laughs> Sam, I can't physically see that guy in my eyes, so it's not up to that side. Uh, this is quite a cool question. United Nerds of Gaming, any ideas you wanted to add to Sniper Elite 3 if you did not have time time to add? I think one that thing was, there was a bunch of vehicles we were looking at for the vehicle kill cam, I know that we saw, but obviously we didn't have the time to make every single vehicle that was in North Africa, unfortunately, but there were some cool ones in there. But we thought the Tiger Tank was the most important, so that's probably, probably the one feature that I thought uh, was coolest. But any of you guys at all? It's quite tough, really. Yeah. Sorry, Will's concentrating. <laughs> Come on, guys, this is a stealth run. <laughs> oh, whoa, who's that? Use the rocks, man. You gotta throw some rocks Use around the as well. Rocks. Ah, most powerful item in the game. I wish you had long, bigger rocks as well. Like for me, for types. me, I'd really like to see. Like, I like the flint and tinder in this. I think it was it was kind of underused by a lot of players. But I really like all the idea of the distractions and, and getting the AI to do stuff and setting up traps for them. I'd like to see uh, see more on that kind of front. Oh, Unknown void. No, you don't have to vote for backwards compatibility. That's mm -hmm. just a Microsoft uh, sort of marketing tool to help them make decisions for their first party game. Um, it's going to be. It's purely up to the publishers to basically tick a box. So I've, so I've been told. Um, so it shouldn't be an issue. As far as I'm aware, five and five to do it. But well, we'll have to assume. Please. Oh, that's Circle to drop down. Oh, oh. Right. <laughs> Failed epically. All right. Going so well. Alright, we're doing this one for real now. We're going to ask me questions. Right, let's see if I can load up Twitter questions again. Apologies, guys, I should have, um, should have had them written down in the old fashioned way. None of this nonsense. Let's just go straight to the objectives. So we still gotta kill uh, Rogue Vogel or whatever. Mm. He's gotta go down. So what it is, the spotters and then the tank, right? No, the mines. And then the Spotter, tank. mines, yeah. tank, yeah. Uh -huh. Right, here we go. We've got some of the Twitter questions. Luke Marley asks, whose brilliant idea was it to include a testicle shot to kill Cam? I honestly don't know. Uh, I wasn't around for the second the man I was the genius. V2, so... Or the woman. Could you do it in V2? I can't think that. Yes, you can. Yeah. You can do it in V2. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that decision would be way back when. Yeah, I'm wondering who would have been, whether it be an animator or... I'm wondering if it came out of the fact the whole Hitler's only got one ball. And obviously there was, <laughs> obviously there was a kill Hitler. Hitler's only got one ball? Uh, you know, it's a historic, man. yeah. Really? It's a, it's, it's a rumor. It's, it's, a, it's an urban myth, I guess. Oh, um, we did a DLC, right, a kill Hitler for yeah, the yeah. too, right? So I'm wondering if it came out of that. But I don't know. Oh, shenanigans. <laughs> going to your left, we're going to your left. Okay. We'll get to see how the playing sniper and spotter here without even in, we're not even in the co-op mode. We don't need a co-op mode now. See how the gooey expertly told good. you that the guy was in the <laughs> You just you, you fear them too much, man. Then they're gonna get mask. I shouldn't be speaking in here. Alright. Uh you try it. Buddy. Oh, this is why you need semi automatic, mate. It's coming, it's <laughs> going. <laughs> oh man. Right, time to give away some more stuff, I reckon. Let's give some stuff. Okay. Dying. Whoa, right. whoa, 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 that added to guys here. See? So fault, we have a oh sorry sorry guys We're just swapping between you now it's so regularly <laughs> right we have a lovely uh, sharpshooter branded T-shirt that uh, was made for our uh, game store but this is a rarer version that has a nice rebellion logo on the side and a sniper elite free version on the back so you can't actually get this anywhere else um, yeah we'll be starting a raffle in just a minute or two so uh, yeah get the exclamation mark raffles at the ready. Thirsty work watching you guys. <laughs>
Uh, what are you going to do, man? There is one over there, to the left, but you got to drop down. No one play this. This they gun is this gun is so overpowered. It's amazing. Out of interest, everyone, I was wanting to do a poll as well. How many of you have Sniper Elite Three or have played it? Are you all Sniper Elite Three fans already, or are you sort of coming to the game after maybe you, you know just couldn't get it last year? Uh, it'd be interesting to know how many of you are kind of new to the series or have already bought it. No. <laughs> <laughs> You were so adamant. I really man. regret you. So regret adamant. It sucks. <laughs> Seeing you were talking about authentic at the yeah. Cyber Elite. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, this is the hardest level. You're also running through it. We're uh, not running through it. I was trying to stealth. I was it. playing stealthily, yeah. yeah. It's very stealthy. To be fair, I, think... I haven't completed this level actually, to be honest. So, For the people uh, at home, you can't about. hear it, and I think you do get a lot of audio cues from the as they're acquiring you and stuff. And we can't get any of that. Uh, we're going without excuse. It's done. Yeah, I'm going with that. That makes sense. Okay, so good. Oh, you know what's gonna happen? Grenade. Wow, thanks guys for your support. Pretty much everyone is saying you've already bought the game, or you bought it as soon as it came out, or you've had all the time ridiculous. That's oh, awesome another chain tonight. reaction! How was that not a chain reaction? This is burning now, it's gonna explode. This is the last yeah. grenade, man. I just need to know how many people, like you see the last gas and like, uh, last gas yeah. and isolation mm -hmm. form, I like, just need to know how many people, like, like when we were, were doing them. the knife suicide. Oh, 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 there were two of them! I know. But, you know, you <laughs> gotta take... One of them would just keep you gotta, shooing you while you, you were knifing him. Ballsy decisions, man. You gotta hey, do right, nice. right, we need to, we need to reach this first, come on. We need a new strat. We're just gonna use the same one better. You guys. We have to go, we have to go to Brook to teach you, go through the, uh... Oh, crap. Oh, this is the binoculars. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. You got it. Yeah, see, this is exactly what I'm saying. Oh, I keep going into binoculars. Oh, this, this is the ZAT, man. Say, so it was the ZAT going back to it. Yeah, that's what it is, not. Uh, okay, Mabruzio okay. says, stop underscore dying. I'm, pff, I'm trying. You're not helping, man. There's too much pressure, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry man. But yeah, we, should, we really should stop dying. Will, we've got a question for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, specific. Um, really interested to know, uh, busy trying to integrate GUI into my small Unity game. To the GUI programmer, how difficult was it to incorporate world gameplay elements to display accurately on the minimap? And what difficulties do you find while doing them? Uh, for me, I guess uh, it's, it comes down to mathematics. Like you're, you're talking about taking a 3D world position and plotting it down into a into a 2D uh, into a 2D space. So that was for the radar, especially that was that was the most difficult thing for me to kind of get my head. So I'm not really from a sort of mathsy background. So uh, yeah, that was that was pretty tough. Like obviously the tools we use are very different from from Unity. All of our all of our engine and our GUI stuff is all in house and yeah. uh, all rebellion based. But um, yeah, for me it was definitely the maths and. Uh, and figuring out how, okay, so I've got this huge, as well as the radar in the, the main map itself, I've got this huge space and all these 3D positions, and I need to track that onto this very differently sized space and make sure everything's uh, everything's in the right proportions. That was that was probably the toughest thing. Fair enough. Cool. Well, I trust whatever you said was accurate, so I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, I was the only one who worked on it, so no one can, <laughs> yeah. no one can say I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wondering if uh, it might be going to be, we're not getting much, you guys won't know at home, but we're not getting much of the game audio just so that we can chat easily yeah. and stuff. And I'm wondering how much that's actually affecting your knowledge of where the players are. I know they're on the minimap and everything, but maybe this is where Nick or Sam is like, yes! Proof, we need, they need my audio. Nick's audio is pretty sweet, right. but uh, behind you. I will not make any excuses for my poor performance. I uh, usually do better, usually on PC. Oh, uh, excellent. He's coming to me. Yeah, this guy's gonna get a knife in the face, man. <laughs> There's no idea. No, he's down, but. That's uh... okay. So, uh, yeah. someone else has uh, gone onto that topic, actually, Will, saying, I assume it is, because I'm not say, Personally, I'd use a trigger collider in your function and have the GUI to activate when in the trigger space. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty, like, it sounds like that's a very specific. Again, like yeah. the, the controls that we get in here. 
you know, like I was saying, I don't know, very hard to talk about these things here, really general terms. <laughs> Fair enough. Someone's asked actually why the buildings aren't in the minimap, but that's an interesting one. I'm guessing that's a design, uh, a deliberate design decision. The what? Sorry, in the minimap? Why the um, buildings aren't on the minimap. You know, kind of like if you're in GTA or something, you'll see the roads and that kind of thing, but in ours, you just oh, get I the think relative it, positions. It's an actual map rather than just a radar. Yeah. yeah. We really wanted to highlight uh, the just the because you can see all the awareness information on the, the dots themselves. You know, they go yellow when they're investigating, they go red when they're in alert. Kind of thought that may, maybe that would detract from the information that it gives you. you know, maybe maybe that was a wrong call. I don't know, but it's, uh, it's certainly very easy to read in terms of what they're doing, where they are, and how much they hate you right now. Well, I, I think it'd be quite hard as well. The levels are quite organic in some ways. Do you look at anything? Kind of thing. I think it's quite tough. But, uh, I'm playing Borderlands pre sequel at the moment, and I'm finding it hard to get around that many at the moment, just because you've got canyons and you come up against walls that don't fit on the map. So. For me, it's about the position of the enemy, so... But, um, They're everywhere! Dino, yeah, Dino's asked, how are we dealing with the heat? It's great, it's great in here. We've got amazing yeah. aircon in this room. In the yeah. main studio, people are getting quite hot. Uh, our aircon's really good, but... He's hundred, struggling. Hundred odd people, yeah. and the hottest day in England this year, mm -hmm. so, yeah. More like North Africa than, uh, than Oxford. It's yeah. the hottest day of the decade, isn't it? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's no? early in the decade, yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's all over the news, obviously. Well, I've got to apologise to you guys, because I'm feeling pretty sweaty right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> all right, we're restarting we're starting this fight. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do this right now. You just down and died then. Connect, <laughs> connect one. No, we haven't had any lawsuits filed against us by uh, fascist organisations, luckily. <laughs> We had some lots of zombie army adverts pulled once. That's alright. So right. We'll recover, man. We'll just steal some wallets from the death soldiers. Mm -hmm. Get some more kids. I should get to higher ground. <laughs> Louis J A. Yeah, some of the Xbox One codes. They are codes we had left over for um, some of the weapons packs, and I think there's also uh, skins pack there as well. Yeah. Got this. You're all over this. <laughs> yeah, the start I got. There's yeah. a guy on the right, there's a guy on the right. What? What if I jump down right after him? Jump, jump, jump. See? Okay. The mastery of stealth. Doesn't get stealthy yeah, on this one. <laughs> oh no, it's too late. It's just run. It's the face. One more shot, you've been down. You've got any health kits left. I don't know why I'm at max. I'm at a max. All right. right, guys, another another poster, one of our lovely endless posters designed by Edward, our uh, concept artist. Um, it's supposed to look like British propaganda uh, for the war. Obviously, it's, actually, it's not real, but it uh, looks pretty authentic. Uh, we're going to um, do another raffle in a second. So you know the drill by now. You guys are pretty efficient, so look out for that in a second. Oh! Guys. You gotta go for the ninja, man. <laughs> Do you yeah. wanna change map? I think these guys are getting bored of this one, maybe. Okay, sure. Another save church on that? What have we got on that? Let's go for the second one, then, for the rocket launchers. Uh, nice. Uh, what, just to, what's that, Belly of the Beast? Yeah. Okay, so exit and then. Also, I'm getting rid of this trench gun, man. We need a, we need a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good. But you're PC player as well, right? So I'm the only yeah. one who's like, yeah, gamepad, woo! <laughs> oh, no. Really wish there was some PC. Yeah. So if it was on mouse and keyboard, you'd be all over authentic. Right? I did. I did start saying? playing it At on the gamepad. Like I like how easily you can control the guy. But in terms of the actual sniping, yeah, you need the mouse. Uh, what am I doing? Campaign downloaded. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Belly of the beast. Right. What are we doing? <laughs> Lord of <laughs> truth. Right, let's stick to marksman, guys. Come on, uh, <laughs> we can do this. We could let them decide if you want. Give them a poll. Oh god, yeah, we could suffering. do that. <laughs> uh, Alright, you want to keep that? Okay, let's just change. I don't mind, man. Let's just change trench gun for the love of god. MP40 rocks, especially in that that color scheme. Let's yeah. Keep some... I 
don't bandages a thing we, we don't, want. We don't have nothing, man. Oh, we don't have any of the stuff. No, just some dynamite. That doesn't blow up when you throw it, does it? You have to shoot yep. it. Yep. Okay. Right. Let's go.